So today we're checking out the GoPro Hero 8. This is the newest of GoPro's cameras. Um, I've had it for about a few months now and I thought it'd be nice to do kind of a 2020 update. And because there's rumors of the GoPro Hero 9 coming out, I thought I'd do a refresher of the GoPro Hero 8 itself. Uh, show you some of the features and what I like about it. Whether it's worth upgrading to the 8 now or waiting until the 9 actually comes out. So this is pretty much it stock out of the box. You get the standard little mount with the anti-vibration little dampener. Um, yeah, this is just a stock GoPro Hero 8. So you kind of got the side button here, turns it on and then it functions as the mode button to the power switch and then the water sealed battery and SD card slot. The door does come up pretty easy and it is surprising that it's waterproof. It doesn't seem like a super tight seal, but that's what they say. They do have the new battery in here. I think it holds less of a charge or the GoPro uses more of a charge than previous models, but it could be just the computing power of it using more battery life with it. You do kind of get the standard monitor on the front telling you what mode you're in. So let's go ahead and power it up. So you just push this button once. They do have the quick on and off, so you can turn that on and off really easy. So as you can see, you have a few different modes with this one. Um, the monitor is nice and clear, easy to use. Definitely a little more touch sensitive than previous models. Um, easy swipe left, up, down to switch between the main modes. So yeah, a lot of it has a really good interface to it. So the modes are a lot easier to swipe left and right with. Easy switch over. You can also just press the button on the side and it will switch between the modes as well the cinematic settings so you can actually change the quick sets through this menu really easy interesting though that none of them came set as 4k standard um, not sure why they did that but you do have the quick boost setting there to really get super stable video slow-mo off to the side and the lens setting so you can choose how wide or narrow of a field of view it is um, which is kind of nice, you can change those on the fly no matter what setting you are in. You still have that nice clear screen telling you what mode you're in. And then the quick on and off as well, which saves whichever mode you are currently in to turn on back to, which is kind of a cool feature. Stabilization is honestly excellent on it. Um, I have done it on a dirt bike and on mountain bike and it is honestly fantastic. definitely recommend a Hero 8. Uh, it's a really nice camera. The stabilization is honestly excellent. Um, it's pretty fast, pretty responsive. Um, I have had it crash a couple times on me. I'm not too sure why, but a simple place pulling the battery out and putting it back in seems to fix that. Um, I'd like to see on potentially a new one is a larger battery. I'd sacrifice a bit of size for it, for example, say this is about the same size as a half a post-it note. I'd be okay going slightly bigger. Uh, this is definitely much smaller than what they used to be. I do really like the foldable legs so then it becomes much more small storage-wise and a really small camera. Um, really small camera size-wise. So it's the GoPro Hero 8 for you. I definitely think it's worth it for anyone who's got anything older than a 7. The 7 is pretty close to this. The 8 is a little bit better. Some of the boost features and then time-lapse modes are significantly better. Battery life, I don't think is that much better. If you have anything older than a 7, definitely upgrade to the 8. You will not regret it. The stabilization is so much better. The menu works so much more intuitively. Um, if you have the 7, I'd question waiting a little bit longer and just seeing what the 9 has to come out with. GoPro is starting to do a yearly release now, and it's going to come around in late fall here, the GoPro Hero 9. Rumors aren't speculating too much change. Like I say, I think they should try and cram in a bigger battery there 
they'll probably put some high frame rate road they'll probably put some high frame rate modes with high resolutions combine those together and you gotta get some really crisp potentially 4k at you know 240 frames a second which would be pretty mind-blowing if you like this kind of video let me know in the comments below remember to subscribe and like if uh if that's something you want to do thanks guys